We call that a parasite. So this system is parasitic. In the last 60 years, I have been involved in the struggle against this modern slavery for Africa. The curse of producing raw materials for cleverer people in the world to add value to those raw materials and get much more value from them. For the last 60, 60 years and more, I have been involved in struggle against all of this. A kilogram of bean coffee of good quality may go for US dollars 2.5 billion to 2.5 dollars a kilo of good quality. They call it something, some chew something, they, they, they give them some names. You may get 2.5 dollars. The same quantity of coffee roasted, ground, and packaged outside may go for US dollars 40. For, for what Africa gets 2.5 dollars, somebody else gets 40 dollars. This is where there is massive hemorrhage of money from the global south to the global north. It is not only the loss of money per, per, per kilo, it is also the loss of jobs. Because these are jobs. The one who roasts is a job. The one who, who grinds is a job. The one who packages is a job. All those jobs are are exported. If you take the whole, now this is in one area of coffee, but if you take the whole spectrum of raw materials from agriculture, from minerals, from forest products, ETC, the loss to Africa is massive. from the, the student days in our movement in the 1960s we put forward the strategy of building Uganda's economy as an independent self-sustaining one with both vertical and horizontal integration. That's what we identified in the 1960s when we were part of the student movement. Here in Uganda, we have succeeded somehow in some sectors, such as the dairy sector, the milk sector. Uganda now is a big exporter of, of milk products. Fisheries, textiles, sugar, leather, etc., a number of sectors where we have been able to achieve this. Vertical integration and horizontal integration. <laughs> 